This lesson overviews how to create, open, and use maps in ACC software. Maps serve as a graphical reference of your surveillance site. They help organize a surveillance site and allow operators to easily locate where specific cameras are installed. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create and use maps. This feature is available in these editions of ACC software. To create a map, right-click a site and select the highlighted option. When the dialog box appears, give the map a name. Click the highlighted button to choose an image to be the map background. You can create a map for any image in JPEG, BMP, PNG, or GIF format. The image is used as the map background and cameras are added on top to show where they are located in your surveillance site. In the dialog box, locate your map image and select it. And click the highlighted button. You can also choose where in the System Explorer you want the map to appear. You can change the map location by clicking and dragging the map to different locations in the highlighted list. Click here to save your changes. To add objects to the map, drag them from the System Explorer and drop them onto the map. Depending on how many cameras you have in your site, you may want to reduce or enlarge the size of the text and icon of your camera. Select an appropriate size by clicking an option in the highlighted area. Note that the default size is medium. Instead of displaying the camera as an icon, you can create a shape that represents the monitoring area. Click the highlighted button to view shape options. Select one of the highlighted shape options to best represent your monitoring area. Reposition the shape nodes to tailor the area size to your FOV. If you're using icons to represent your camera, you can select a camera icon that represents your camera type. Doing this helps you differentiate between cameras if you have many cameras on your site. We will select this icon as it's already set for the camera in the System Explorer. You can further customize your camera and its FOV by selecting a color for the icon, shape, and cone. If you want to set a different field of view of your camera, simply hover over a node on the cone until your cursor turns into the pan tool. Adjust your cone size to best represent the coverage of its FOV. Finally, you can choose to disable the FOV cone or the name of your camera from showing. You can also change the image region of the camera or delete the icon altogether by selecting the highlighted options. Click here to save the new map. The map is now available in the System Explorer. To view a previously saved map, click this tab. To display a map, double-click the map in the System Explorer or drag it into an image panel. When a map is displayed, you can click elements on the map to open them in the next available image panel. For example, you can click a camera to view the live video stream. Alternatively, you can hover over the icon to display a preview window of the last recorded frame of footage. You can choose which panel you would like to display a map device in by left-clicking and dragging that device onto an image panel. Note that if a camera flashes red, an alarm that is linked to the camera has been triggered. To check the alarm, click the red flashing camera. To sum up, in this lesson, you learned how to create, open, and use maps. Maps serve as a graphical reference of your surveillance site. They help organize a site and allow operators to easily locate where specific cameras are installed.